guys, and today I'm doing a video on one of my houses I have made. Um, I forgot to notify you guys that these videos were coming because I wanted them to be a surprise. But as you can see, I have used the single player commands mod. Don't get mad at me for having it installed. I'm not going to use it in survival worlds and that because I don't cheat. It just speeds up building a bit. Well, a lot. With the wand and that. And, yeah. This is the first episode of this new series that I think I'm going to make. And um, I think I'm going to get your, try and get your guys' support on this sort of series. Because I don't know whether you guys will like a series where I show you around a house that I have made. But I think it will be a good idea. So, just leave in the comment section whether you think I should do videos like this and make it into a proper series. With its own thumbnail. But, yeah. So I'm going to get on with the video. See, as you can see, this house has been mainly out of wool, glass blocks. Not panes, because panes are rubbish unless you use them properly. Wool and spruce wood logs and maybe a bit of glowstone. So here, for the entrance, I have brought the entrance in a little bit. Here, because I think it looks good, and it looks good with steps like this that I have done using slabs. So when we go into the house, once you get in, you just have this nice big area here with the staircase right in front of you if you want to go upstairs. But as you can see, this is split up into four rooms, separated off by these little walls coming in. So first, this is the living room. And this is mainly, it's main, most of the decorations in this house I'll say are made out of birch wood, but the floor is oak wood, and it just stands out a bit, and it looks really good. And through here, I have used slabs for the kitchen, and I have done quite a bit of detail. And if you're wondering why the anvil is there, that is meant to be a coffee maker. It is the closest block I could find to a coffee maker, though, because we don't have coffee makers yet in Minecraft. But as you can see, I've also put buttons on the front for drawers and a little cake on the little table. Now here is like a little exit part at the back. And if you're wondering what this is meant to be, this is meant to be a little shoe rack to put your shoes on top. But there wasn't many blocks that I could find that would look good for it, so I used the anvils alongside each other. And then out through this door, you have... The pool, which has some beds made out of sandstone because it like stands out to the wooden floor, and a three one and a half block high water bit, so it's like perfect height on your Minecraft character just to have his head sticking out. And as you can see, there's also some diving boards there made out of slabs, and they will have ladders on the back for you to climb up. So across here is the dining room. So I put the dining room here because it looks nice with the kitchen across there. So you can just walk straight across here to have your lunch. And then through here is like a computer room. And this one is a laptop. And this one is a proper computer. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the second floor. And to do that you go up the stairs and you come into this nice little room here. And first thing to show you is the balcony, which isn't built out, sticking out of the house. It's built into the house with the wall made further back. So, the like it has sort of like a cover over it for when it's raining, so you don't get all that water coming down around you. So yeah, I'm going to move on to the bedrooms. There are two bedrooms, a kid's bedroom and a adult's bedroom, and I'm going to do the adult's bedroom first. So as you can see there's a double, nice big double bed there and a chest of drawers with a table and some bookshelves across here and this door goes out onto a nice big balcony I've made at this side and this door over here is just like sort of like a passageway across to that bedroom but I've made this nice win big window here with some seating there. 
and that looks pretty good. So through here onto the next bedroom, this is the kids bedroom and here I've made a double bed using two beds and two doors, toes for the edges and two chests here maybe for toys and stuff and here I have attempted to make a nice little tro toy train set thingy with station and a thing and it does work but it just isn't really, it's mainly for looks but yeah guys that is this house mainly that's what it is um if you like these video this sort of video where I show you around a house that I have made remember to leave in the comment section that I should make this into a vid video series for YouTube and remember to leave a like and if you're a new viewer subscribe to my channel so yeah I will see you guys later